be seated. I may be the only principal that I don't write a speech for these things. I don't bring a book to read. I don't, I don't quote people. What I will tell you is that our pride and our proudest moment at Grundy, Twin Valley, Council, and Hurley is right out here tonight. And these young people always remember these people are the ones who not only helped you physically, mentally, financially, and these are the ones in the stands, be they moms, dads, grandmas, granddads, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers. These are the people that you need to thank. So right now, I'm gonna ask the graduates to please give these people a hand. Thank you. Okay, we have some fine young people as well up here on stage with us. And it's my pleasure to begin with our senior class president with the class farewell, Mr. Carlton Asher McLaughlin. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to Grundy High School's 2011 graduation commencement ceremony. It's pretty far, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's pretty hard to believe how far we've come the last four years. I'm fairly certain that when our teachers first discovered our freshman year that we were to be America's future, they began making plans to leave the country. <laughs> but thankfully, they never gave up hope. And neither did our parents, and it is because of our teachers and parents that we have blossomed into the fine young men and women we are today. We all have those special individuals in our lives who have inspired us and encouraged us to become and achieve more than we would have ever thought possible as freshmen. It is thanks to these people that we can look forward to the bright futures ahead of us and know that whatever challenge may present itself, we can conquer it. To the parents and grandparents who have spent countless hours helping with projects and making sure that we never stray too far away from our goals, we are eternally grateful. And to the teachers who never gave up on us, no matter how much we argued with you and whined about homework, thank you. You're all fantastic people and we've been blessed to have you in our lives. You can cancel your plane tickets and close your European bank accounts. This nation's future is safe with us. I'd like to close by reading a quote from one of our country's greatest heroes, George Washington. How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, sympathetic with the striving, and tolerant of the weak and the strong, because at some point in life, you will have been each of these. Class of 2011, if you're ready to graduate, you know what to do. Thank you, Asher. Next, it's my privilege to introduce our salutatorian. I can't tell you how hard these students work for these honors. Ms. Caitlin Nicole Cantrell. Good evening, family, friends, staff, and fellow graduates. Throughout our youth, we have had our parents, loved ones, mentors, siblings, and teachers to help guide us along the right path. Now it is our turn to embark on a journey filled with curves, potholes, roadblocks, and traffic jams, but it also embark on a journey filled with endless possibilities. We have to learn how to apply the brakes and use our instincts to get through the obstacles that life throws our way. In life, you have to make choices that will affect your future. A wise person once said, we know not what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. So as you leave these safe walls of Grundy High School as graduates, remember that you hold the future in your hands. This is a bittersweet time because although we close the door on our time at Grundy High School, we open another door that leads to our futures where we will inevitably find our place along the way. 
We, the graduating class of 2011, have been given the tools to go out and make a difference in the world. So chisel out your own path. Make a name for yourself. Cure cancer. Encourage the minds of the youth. Construct masterpieces. Have a family. But whichever path you choose, I challenge you to give it your all, be proud of yourself and your accomplishments, and live a complete life. Congratulations, class of 2011. Now you know why I'm not making speeches. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, we're ready to present awards. And we are going to begin with our top 10. Thanks. Ms. you got those ready? Okay, our valedictorian, Mr. Coogan Bryce Thompson. Our salutatorian, Caitlin Nicole Cantrell. Number three, Stephen Corey Church. Number four, Jonathan Seth Lowe. Number five, Emily Ann Rife. Number six, Susan Brittany Deal. Number seven is Carlton Asher McLaughlin. Right there. Thank you, honey. Number eight, Elizabeth Joyce Owens. Looks like you've been bored or something during your career. Nice job, honey. Number nine, Cody Randall Justice. Number 10, Stephanie Michelle Deal. Okay, we're ready now for a presentation of awards for our class officers. Our president, Carlton Asher McLaughlin. <laughs> no, you can just stick. That's okay. Our vice president, Caitlin Nicole Cantrell. Class Secretary, Ashley Nicole Pritchard. And we had co-treasurers, no, Jeremy Wayne Hurley, <laughs> and Ashley P. Waters.
Nice job, honey. Our first scholarship of the night is the Sun Coke Energy Jewel Coal Scholarship. And this scholarship is presented to Ms. Tessa Leanne Ratliff. Next, we are pleased to have with us to present the United Coal Company Scholarship, Mr. Gary Prater and Ms. Tammy Fields. Thank you very much, parents, students, faculty. It gives Tammy and I a great pleasure to be here tonight uh, to represent United Coal and give him a scholarship to a very deserving student. United Coal, the new United Coal, is owned by a Ukrainian company called Medinvest, and we're located in Big Rock, Virginia. We have 400 employees, and we'd like to make it 450. And uh, so we're looking for good employees, and we also believe that as a company, to get employees, you have to get the best, and that's in our area. The best employees come from this area. So we're looking, and tonight we want to present a scholarship uh, to one of our employees' children, Miss Tammy Fields. Okay, thank you. Okay. At this time, it is my pleasure to award the first annual $1,000 United Coal Company Scholarship to a Wellmore employee's child, Miss Susan Deal. Okay, Mr. Prater is also here to present a scholarship on behalf of the Buchanan Education Foundation. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. Uh, the Buchanan County Education Foundation was the dream of uh, two past uh, board members, uh, school board members, uh, Joe Keen and Harold Matney. And it came to fruition several years ago and uh, they formed a board and they uh, set this thing up to provide scholarships to all the schools in Buchanan County. And these are donation scholarships. It's tax deductible. So if anybody wants to give the Buchanan County Foundation, we're very much involved with giving back to our students and our, uh, our families. So tonight, the Buchanan County Education Scholarship is being presented to a very, very outstanding student, and uh, we're very proud to give this to tonight to Coogan Thompson. Thank you very much. Okay, we have two scholarships to present on behalf of the class of 1974. So if those students would uh, come to stage two, I think you're gonna receive those certificates a little bit later, but they are and we're appreciative. Thank you, class of 1974. I think this is their second year. We really appreciate this. And the first scholarship presented will be to Mr. Jonathan Seth Lowe. No, you can't have my paper. <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get it later. <laughs> Our second recipient of the class of 1974 scholarship is Ms. Rebecca Carol Neely.
Congratulations. Next, I would like to introduce, on behalf of the Grundy Lions Club, to present the Ralph Hagee Memorial Scholarship, Mr. Tivis O'Quinn. First off, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2011. And welcome parents, uh, teachers, uh, family, friends, and so forth. Uh, you have reached a milestone in your career, and hopefully everything will work out good for everyone. And uh, I had this speech made up. I had a 30-minute speech. Uh, Debbie Raines and Leslie and some of them said I couldn't speak for 30 minutes so due to the weather. So at this time, I'd like to uh, uh, introduce the uh, president of the Grundy Lions Club and let him go ahead and, uh, and give the award because once I get started, I'm hard to stop. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Hello. Well, he took my weather comment, so we'll just get down to this. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, this is it's a big privilege for me to be here to present this award tonight. And I wanted to say that we see this as an investment, that we're not just giving money away. We're investing in somebody's future, and we're hoping that that investment will pay off and that you will eventually be able to graduate, get a job, and come and help another person, and then another person, and another person, so that everybody can have the same opportunity that you'll be getting. So without further ado, the Grundy Lions Club would like to present Stephen Corey Church with the Ralph Hagee Memorial Scholarship. On behalf of the Van Mater Scholarship and family, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Todd Van Mater to present the Mark Van Mater Scholarship. Good evening. Congratulations to the graduates tonight. A job well done. I wish you much happiness and success as you continue on your life's journey after tonight's graduation. I'm here tonight to represent the Mark Van Meter Memorial Fund and the Van Meter family in the presentation of the annual Mark Van Meter Memorial Scholarship. My brother Mark was a student and an athlete here at Grundy High School who in 1980 was tragically killed in an automobile accident with another young man, Mark Byers. Since the graduating class of 1981, the Mark Van Meter Memorial Scholarship Fund has presented an annual scholarship to a graduating senior here at Grundy High. Through the years, there have been many outstanding uh, applicants. It's always a difficult decision to narrow those, that field of applicants down to one. And this year is certainly no exception. This year, I'm proud to present the 2011 Mark Van Meter Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 to a young lady I know well, Emily Ann Reif. Thank you. Again, congratulations to tonight's graduating class, and thank you very much. Congratulations. With us tonight to present the Alpha 11 chapter, excuse me, of the Delta Gamma Society, and that's the Delta Kappa Gamma Society, we have Ms. Nell Woodrum and Ms. Janie Mullins.
The Delta Kappa Gamma is an honor society, an international honor society for female women teachers. This scholarship is given to a young lady who will be going into the field of education. This year's scholarship for Grundy High School will go to Susan Deal. Okay, our next scholarship will be the Kiwanis Club Scholarship. And on behalf of the Kiwanis Club, we have with us here tonight, Mr. Ricky Owens and Mr. Jason McLaughlin. Good evening, I'm Jason McLaughlin. I currently serve as the president of the Grundy Kiwanis Club. I want to congratulate the class of 2011. We wish you the very best on your future endeavors. Um, the Kiwanis Club is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the world, one child and one community at a time. So we invite you to, to get involved in Kiwanis. Also get involved in Key Club. If you're any young, um, young adults here, we invite you to get in, in with the Key Club. The Grundy Kiwanis Club chartered and sponsors the the Grundy um, Senior High Key Club here at the school, and we're proud of the work that they do. Um, a lot of community service given to the school. This year's scholarship recipients are Ms. Elizabeth Owens and Ms. Becky Neely. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. I would like to ask my aunt, Betty Looney, if she will come to the stage. I normally give, since I lost my dad and uh, Betty's brother in 2008, and I always ask her to come back each year to help present the Richard Clayton Keene Scholarship. There is one family here tonight. I'm presenting two awards, but the first recipient, I would like to th say a big thank you to that family. And I wish that this <laughs> gymnasium could hear the stories that my dad would tell driving a pilot truck for low boy hauling. <laughs> And I am here to tell you I want to thank Terry, A.D., and Greg for making those last years such an important part of my dad's life. And he thoroughly enjoyed the time he spent with your family. And I would like, it's my pleasure, to present the first recipient tonight of the Richard Clayton King Memorial Scholarship to a fine young man. Please carry on through traditions of your family and being kind and good to people, and that is Mr. Cody Wade Rife. I want to thank Hope and Belford Shortridge, Stella and Paul Yates, and R.D. and Linda Rife, who never forget that scholarship. And I want to thank you all for the contributions you make each year in helping keep this scholarship alive. Our second recipient tonight 
is a young man, I'll tell this tale on him now, but he came in my office the other day and I've, I've really liked this young man the whole time he's been here, outstanding young man. And he said, Miss Horn, you gotta help me. You just gotta help me. And I said, okay, like I normally do, you know, Miss Fix It, Miss Horn, I'm telling you. You know, I went to Food City the other night and I forgot my car keys and I had to call my friend Tyler and he had to bring my car keys and my mom found out about that. And then, and then Miss Horn, you know, I've had, I just keep forgetting things and I went to the movies the other night and, and I forgot my tickets and my mom had to get out and she had to bring my tickets and Miss Horn, I washed up all my graduation tickets and I don't want to tell my mommy. <laughs> so I don't know if the parents know that or not, <laughs> but he got his second set of tickets without your knowledge, okay? But uh, I just want to say to this next young man how much I think of him. We call them co-codies. If you need uh, weeds cut, I think it's uh, time to call them. If you need uh, any help, they've hauled pianos from Abingdon for me. These two have uh, just absolutely made an impact on my life. And my second Richard Clayton Keene Memorial Scholarship goes to Cody Randall Justice. He said, she knows now. <laughs> Actually, he said he wouldn't live to see graduation. That's what he said. Okay. Our next scholarship presenter, and I think I did see Debbie here tonight. So on behalf of the Jeremy Evans Robotics Scholarship, I would like to present to you Mrs. Debbie Evans. First of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, all of the class of 2011. As I was coming up this evening, I was thinking of all the people that I recognized in this class, and some of you were with me when I substituted at Harmon School in kindergarten for Connie Hibbets. Uh, so it's a very heartfelt pleasure that I'm able to present tonight. Um, on behalf of Jeremy's family, we are honored and grateful to the Grundy Robotics Team 388, their leaders, especially Ms. Ellswick, and the mentors for establishing the Jeremy Evans, Evans 007 Scholarship Award. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jeremy was my son. Um, he was diagnosed in November of 09 with medulloblastoma brain cancer. Uh, he battled it until July 31st of 2006. He would have graduated here in 2007, but unfortunately, his goal didn't uh, succeed. But I'm very much thankful that they have established this award. And Jeremy loved everything about the robotics, from the very kickoff day to the, many, the box of many parts, to the building and the mechanics of the robot to the game itself, and even to the fierce competition and all the excitement at the competitions. He was a pillar of enthusiasm, encouragement, kindness, leadership, and respect for Team 388. He was always armed with a smile and a helping hand, a true inspiration to all who knew him. This year's recipient has portrayed a few of Jeremy's qualities in knowledge, in competition, in his spirit, his enthusiasm, and empathy. The recipient has been a team member since freshman year. He helped start the Tech Challenge team at the Twin Valley, attended robotics camp at NASA Langley Research Center, and now plans to attend Virginia Tech pursuing a career in engineering in the fall. I am proud to announce that the $1,000 Jeremy Evans Scholarship 
Award for 2011 is awarded to Channing Mitchell. I think all of us remember Donnie Newberry. And Mr. Newberry was a supporter of Buchanan County School Systems and an educator for I don't know how many years, but I want to say until the day he arrived in Buchanan, until the day we tragically lost Mr. Newberry in a car accident. So on behalf of the Donnie E. Newberry Kids First Scholarship, I don't think Ms. Newberry's with us. Is Doris here? Okay, I will present the Mr. Newberry Scholarship. This scholarship is composed, or I'm sorry, chosen by a committee of people, and if I didn't tell you before, as all our scholarships are, and the Donnie E. Newberry Kids First Scholarship is presented to Corey Church. Okay, now we have our perfect attendance and our senior citizenship awards, not senior citizens yet, but trust me, you'll get there close soon enough. All right, we have one young man who has perfect attendance for grades eight through 12, and that is an amazing feat. And that award is presented to Mr. Seth Allen Looney. Okay, every year the faculty votes on one young man and one young lady to receive the Grundy High School Senior Citizenship Award. Our female recipient this year, and this is a big honor to be voted upon your faculty members, is Ms. Caitlin Nicole Christian. The recipient for the Grundy Senior Citizenship Award, seniors, don't you love that word, seniors, Andrew Caleb Perkins. Okay, at this time I'd like to call Mr. Larry Looney to the stage. We have a special award. There is one young man whom we have called upon and called upon and called upon to do anything and everything. And that means if it dealt with computers, which we all know that they know more than the faculty does, 
if it deals with we need to make presentations, if we need to do anything that's technologically oriented, anything that has to deal with, I don't know, building things. And this young man is just phenomenal. I personally called on him to be the presenter on behalf of Grundy High School to go to the school board and he was just made a phenomenal presentation that we also uh, watched at the FRST Robotics Open House. So Grundy High School is going to start a school ambassador award because this award was started late. Your plaque is, what are we supposed to say, in the mail? But that's okay. Mr. Looney, if you'll come on up here, I'd like for you to shake hands to Mr. Channing Mitchell, the first ever recipient of the Grundy High School Ambassador Award. You think Mr. Looney should be his award? Here's your award. <laughs> if you'll uh, stand right here, Channing, and why get in well, let's see. Oh, okay. This is let good. Them, let them stand down there. <laughs> I, need I will call you. Okay. Cool. Well deserved. Wow. Congratulations, Channing. Okay. The joke at Grundy High School is, and I think Robin Justice started this, what we wanted to do was just to be able to say that we helped Coogan Thompson in math. It didn't happen. It's not true, okay? But we love going in classrooms and saying, do you need any help? Because he never does, especially from Miss Horn or Robin Justice. So at this time, it is my extreme pleasure to present to you the 2011 valedictorian, and that would be none other than Mr. Coogan Thompson. Can I cash in my favor? <laughs> Can I help you with that? May I help you with that? Yes. <laughs> I'll help you with that. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank my grandparents. Gaynell Thompson, Helen Matney, and J.D. Matney, and my two honorary grandparents, Craigie Davis and Gaynell Morris. They paid me $5 to mention them in the speech, so I figured I better. <laughs> Carl Sandburg has a poem, Stars, Songs, Faces. I'd like to read it to you guys. Gather the stars if you wish it so. Gather the songs and keep them. Gather the faces of women. Gather for keeping years and years. And then, loosen your hands. Let go and say goodbye. Let the stars and songs go. Let the faces and years go. Loosen your hands and say goodbye. To me, this poem sums up our graduation. We have spent years gathering our stars and songs, those being our memories, the old ones of our first days of school and meeting our first friends and throwing rocks through doors at Riverview, <laughs> the now looking back seems so long ago. Up to my more recent ones, the flying chairs on the third floor, Losing homecoming in the final seconds, <laughs> getting drenched on our way to Florida, miserable bus rides. Gather the faces, all the friendships we have made, through playing ball together to just getting stuck beside each other in English, or forced to play together because our parents were friends, or maybe simply by showing up to tailgate parties at home football games, which, by the way, if you like tailgate parties, come to Walmart for the grand opening, we'll have a cookout. Or the friends you made just because you both hung out in Beth Bevins' room or snuck out of class to talk to Bill Taylor. All those friends. But now high school has reached its last hours. We must loosen our grip on it and all its memories and all its other holdings. We don't want to forget our memories, but we must move on to the next stage of our life. And we must loosen the grip on our friends, not put them in shopping carts and shove them across the parking lot, but we must allow our friends to change so we can add more friends to our already extensive list. Graduation is a time of loosening our hands from each other and saying goodbye. But it's not really goodbye. It's goodbye and see you guys at homecoming next year. Thank you. And I don't know if, the, if anybody keeps track 
at other high schools. But these students took 11 of the standards of learning tests. 600 is a perfect score. He had nine 600s. Are you ready? It's not the Bruce. See, you're supposed to be happy. We're ready. Are you ready? Wow, you, you were more ready coming down the hallway. You're, are you hot? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, we are ready, Ms. Vanover, Ms. Shortridge, to present our award. This concludes the awards presentation. And now we have a presentation of candidates. And I can say what a fantastic, fine group of young women and young men that you are. Please be safe, make good choices in life, live a little, dance a little, and always remember where you came from. And please, whatever you do, set that goal high, aim high, because everyone in here, it's just like I said at the sports banquet, you are all winners, everyone in here. Thank you so much, it's been my pleasure to be here the past five years, but it's been my pleasure to be here with you all. This is one fantastic, parents, I mean that, fantastic group of young people. Would the top 10 please stand? Coogan Bryce Thompson. Caitlin Nicole Cantrell. Stephen Corey Church. Jonathan Seth Lowe. Emily Ann Raff. Susan Brittany Deal. Charlton Asher McLaughlin. Elizabeth Joyce Owens. Cody Randall Justice. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Deal. <laughs> Next row, please stand. Timothy William Austin. Adrian Summer Bailey. Samuel Keegan Bartley. Amber Renee Bennett. Woo! Deidre Nicole Blankenship. Justin Shane Blankenship. Lakin Amber Blankenship. <laughs> Katie Leanne Bowman. <laughs> Leslie McKenna Boyd.
Lindsay Brooke Boyd. Morgan Taylor Brandt, I'm sorry, Logan Curtis Boyd. <laughs> Melissa Caitlin Boyd. <laughs> Morgan Taylor Branham. Cody Sean Charles. Caitlin Nicole Christian. Colby Aaron Church. Brittany Gay Lynn Clevenger. Ricky Lee Clevenger. Brandon Dwayne Cochran. Robin Sierra Cole. Kristen Lynn Dales. Sarah Nicole Davis. Keaton Sean Deal. Latasha Hope Deal. Henry Alexander Dobson the Second. Cody Wayne Ellswick. Ethan Caleb Fraley. Tyler Hensley. Caitlin Nicole Hess. Eric Matthew Hodge. Brittany Noel Horn. Jeremy Wayne Hurley. Adam Benton Hutchinson. Jordan Taylor Hutchinson. Catlin David Eric. <laughs> 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 
Elmer James Jackson. Cody Nathaniel Justice. Hello. Zachary Tyler Justice. Benjamin Ryan Keen. Jonathan Blaine Kelly. Where's the, where's the hat? Where's your hat? Ethan Scott Kennedy. Mason Lee Kennedy. Stephen W. Kennedy. Aaron Renee Key. Danny Lee Looney. Joshua E. Looney. Justin D. Looney. Seth Allen Looney. Daniel Tyler Lowe. Tanner Lee Marshall. Tanner Jordan McClanahan. Brittany Ellen McCoy. Channing Alexander Mitchell. Bradley Kyle Mullins. Cody Jerome Mullins. Lyle Connor Mutter. Rebecca Carol Neely. Michaela Renee Newberry. <laughs> Kayla Leanne Owens. Lacey Robin Owens. Andrew Caleb Perkins.
Jonathan Ralph Perry. Nicholas Scott Prater. Ashley Nicole Pritchard. Stephen Brent Reagan. Samuel James Rains. Larry David Ratliff III. Joseph David Ratliff. Tessa Leanne Ratliff. Amber Morgan Reynolds. Cody Wade Raff. I wanted to say Cody Wade Raff. No, I better not. Alyssa Faith Rowe. Amber D. Rowe. Justin Scarberry. Jacob William Shelton. Jimmy Dean Smith, Jr. Victoria Renee Smith. James Blake Sneed. I wanted to say this all your time. I wanted to bring it Rebecca Snail. Jonathan Charles Stacy. William A. Stacy the second. Ryan C. Stiltner. Ryan Keith Stiltner. Stephanie Amanda Stiltner. <laughs> Stephen Ray Stiltner. <laughs> Ty 
Taylor Patrick Stiltner. Casey D. Street. Matthew Tyler Sweeney. Philip Trudell. Dakota Russell Vance. Sean Michael Van Dyke. Miranda D. Ward. Tyler Keith Ward. Ashley P. Waters. Joshua Ryan Yates. All his life, he's been a Yates, always last. There were no Z's in Buckingham County. Parents, we do ask, we know it's hot, we try to hurry. We do ask that you remain in the gym until the graduates do exit. Wow, you've waited all year for one line that when I got my first year's principal, Banna Bevins, made me memorize. No, not yet, nope, 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 nope. Your moms and dads want to see you one more time as high schoolers. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and Buchanan County School Systems, I pronounce you graduates of Grundy High School, class of 2011.